And the Sound of Music and a new Australian production stars one of our most popular homegrown actresses, Lorraine Bailey. And she joins us now. How wonderful to have you on the show. Good morning. Oh, thank you so much. It's lovely to be on your show. It's such a good show. Oh, thank you very much. I'll watch as you is, in the morning. As is yours. Yeah. Yours is a terrific show. Mm -hmm. this, this Sound of Music, I mean, look, let's go back here. 50 years ago, you were working as an usherette, yes. you were saving for a car, you were taking acting lessons. That didn't work out so well for you. But <laughs> you did kind of, I mean, does this feel very full circle now? Well, it does. Um, but 50 years ago, I had done some uh, theatre work. There but, you go. Uh, and I was working in a bank during the day and doing usherette at night so that I could get my acting lesson money. Uh, and it was wonderful. Oh and uh, this is the 50th anniversary of Sound of Music, that's why it's being done, of the movie. And I had to just fill in an update on the who's who thing that you send back and I thought I just count how many shows I've done mm. and Sound of Music is my 50th stage production. Wow, this is a good omen. Yes, that is yes. a good thing. I, I mean you, you are acting royalty in yeah. this country but I do now I'm Been curious time. now I'm curious to know which bank you worked in. Yes. Rural. It's not doesn't exist anymore. Was it a country bank? No, 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 it was in Martin Place. Oh, the rural bank. Yes. <laughs> I thought you meant rural in as in it was in the country. country. Rural, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dural, rural and dural. <laughs> now, you, Lorraine, you're starring long, alongside 18 kids in this production. <laughs> what sort of advice do you give to the youngsters? Just work, you know. Uh, there's no shortcuts, as you would know, too, in the business. You, you've just got to work, study. And what I did when I was younger, because I didn't want to get stuck in just playing young juve roles, because I was young when I started, um, I auditioned for older roles with more depth. And the first time, um, there was a man out here going to produce a Noel Coward play, and they wanted me for the young juve in it. And being young then, you know, I just said, oh, no, um, I don't want to play any more young Jews, but could I audition for Florence, I think, was the other character. And they said, oh, all right. And so I did, and he said, no, you can't have it. And I said, oh, OK, well, thank you. I'll just give it a miss, you know. And then I got cast the following year in a play where I was playing a senile 87-year-old lady. And I did lots of... Because I was only in my about I say, early yeah. 20s, yeah. I think. And I remember going to all the nursing homes and learning all these things about the elderly, then mm -hmm. you know how they palm their hand and the little bit of dribble in the mouth, mm -hmm. you know. And But the thing is, I wanted the voice and I couldn't get the voice because I, you know, you often hear people just put on this voice, you know, oh, I'm playing a little old lady and do sure. that. And I thought, no, I wanted to, to why does the voice go like that? Yeah. And I thought, well, your ribs contract, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I started practising at home doing this, just talking and then pushing my ribs in. <laughs> and as you push them in further, oh, wow. you can't talk as well as you can normally. And so I added that voice to it. But I had to learn to do it, of course, without pushing my ribs in, because yeah. the character couldn't do that. And um, this director was in town at the time. And I got rave reviews for this. And I thought, oh, I hope he sees these, you know, <laughs> saying I'm going to be doing young Jews for a long time. That's incredible. Listen, I mean, yeah. you are. I mean, and that just says it all to me, because that's the reason why you're a national treasure, mm. particularly as an actor. Because, I mean, yes, we know you from the Sullivans and Tyson's Lord, and you are a wonderful uh, TV actress, but you are a wonderful actor. You have wonderful craft. Uh, but let's go back to the Sullivans. Is that oh, yeah. is that one of your favourites? Absolutely, mm. absolutely. Because I remember... you can act the character for such a long time, you don't just have to give it up. That's right. I did it for two and a half years, but I was on air for three because when I left, I pre-recorded a whole lot of stuff on my weekends off uh, that they used for the following six months. Wow. So I was on there for three years. But um, and, uh, there were young people in that that were just coming up, like these young people in Sound of Music. Yes. Um, yeah. They are so uh, wonderfully... They're so disciplined. They're so well-mannered. They're so... Well they're professionals at these little ages, you know? Yes. And uh, I find an absolute... Because I don't have a very big role in this. When... John Frost rang me. I was right in the middle of doing John Misto's brilliant shoehorn sonata. Mm -hmm. Heavy piece. Two, only two of us in it. And lots and lots and lots of dialogue. And my character was particularly emotional, you know. And so it was very, very draining. And he rang me and he said, look, um, uh, I'd like you to play... Um, what am I playing? Frau Schmidt. Oh, yeah. He <laughs> said, he, he said yeah. look... Uh, you may not want it, it's not a very big role. And I said, your timing is perfect, I'll do it. Yes, <laughs> I just want to have a laugh, and have some I'm fun. I'm loving doing it because I get to watch these young kids. Oh, and yeah. Amy and Cameron yeah. are just wonderful because they both have so much warmth, mm. which is good. And, uh, and Cameron's got such a great singing voice, yeah. I didn't realise. Cameron Von Dano. 
Uh, Cameron Von Cameron Dado. Von Cameron Dado. Von Dado. Yeah. Yes. And Jackie Palmer. Amy, 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 Amy LaPalm is a superstar. Oh, she's, she's a fan. superstar. Yeah, she's fan. People she are going to be Maria. blown away when they see her. You know, Lorraine, the thing is, people know you as a TV star, a theatre star, but not many people know that you're a tennis star. Oh, tennis. That's... Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad about tennis. Thank you, Primrose Park Tennis at Neutral Bay. They, they're wonderful to me. Their coaches are fantastic. And um, I'm, when I finish this show... Uh, two months after I finish, I turn 80. So Get out of here. You're no, amazing. Yeah. I don't, I don't. Tennis. Tennis, tennis, tennis. tennis, tennis. tennis. Yeah. Now, now, doing different things. When I was 60, I took up the saxophone. Oh. When I was 70, I took up tennis. At 72, I played in the World Masters Games in Sydney. Amazing. And I played a woman from... Um, um, uh, South America, a woman from New Zealand and a woman from Australia, and they all beat me six love. But I had the best time, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I'm better now, four years later, and the next ones are in Auckland. How so often I'm, do you play? Well, I'm doing a show, not very much, okay. but normally about twice a week. Yeah. yeah. I have lessons, mm -hmm. and I just play singles, I don't play doubles. Have you got a good looking coach? Oh, yes, David Chapman. He's, we call, I call him David Champion because he has been a big champion. Wow. You know, yes, and he's, he's lovely because. He said to me, now, what do you want out of these lessons? And I said, I want to learn to play tennis, but I don't want it to be like when I was playing piano, that you have to practice and you've got to be good. I want to enjoy it first and foremost, mm -hmm. but I also want to improve. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly the right way. I think that's your method on life, and I think that's why you <laughs> sparkle so much. Exactly. So The Sound of Music opens in Sydney on the 13th of December. Tickets are available through the website soundofmusictour.com.au. Lorraine, what a thrill to have you here. It's been a thrill to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lorraine. Thank you.